Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Ooch, and of course, we are back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? All right, so we got the latest chapter of Dragon Ball Super. Finally, it feel for some reason it felt like this chapter took longer, even though there has been no separation, no difference in when this chapter it, they come out every twentieth of the month for the most part every year, right? Every twentieth of the month. Chapter 68, for some reason, going from December to January. I don't know if it's a 2020 effect or trickling over into 2021 here. But, uh, yes, Granola the Survivor. We are in the brand new arc. And for those that don't know, I did a little bit of digging as far as, you know, where we're at as far as the timeline of this story goes. And every what I feared happened, okay? And, and it is that they would be trying to squeeze in too much into this 10 year gap so you know like just to do it right but now what they've really what they've done realistically is they are still they're in, they are in their latest plot hole because everything that has been happening has been within a decent time frame however all of these recent events have over um have have uh, have go have gone over the time limit Meaning, I went and checked out the last episode of Dragon Ball Z where you see the time skip happen and Goku and Goten are training and blah, blah, blah. And you see Bulma and Vegeta come through and they have that little conversation. And they specifically say it's been five years since we've last seen you, okay? Now, when I looked at the actual dates as far as all of these, the list of events taking place, all of this happens... Literally, like a year or so after, which means that it's a plot hole and that they, it wasn't five years that it, it's been. It's been less than that, is what I'm trying to say. So I know this is a very drawn and long intro, but I just felt like addressing that and pointing that out there for you guys because that is something that I did talk about on my stream. Um, so there's a, a quick plug for that twitch.tv slash Uji Games. So that way you guys can chill. Play, uh, watch me play some games and all that kind of good stuff, but, but yeah, it's a, it's a shame, and this is, and I, I was talking to Bree about this, and this, and this is a, a great point, right? At this point in time, Dragon Ball is is here, and it's writing stuff out for the sake of making new content. It does the story does not matter, and that's like literally the point. I'm, I guess I'm trying to drive home. And do I like it? No. I hate it, actually. I, I think that that kind of sucks. And I feel like there's so much potential. And it just, you know, as, as, a, as a diehard fan, been sticking around for a, quite some time. Obviously, a lot of you are here still that are still sticking around because of the super reactions of the anime. But, man, like, it's just, it just, it, it, it pains me to see stuff like this. But I'm hoping within this arc, however long it's going to be, the, the Granola the Survivor We'll see what happens. We'll see who this dude is, blah, blah, blah. And I have no idea what to expect. As a matter of fact, I was working all day, so I didn't really see anyone talking about this chapter on Twitter the, and, and during the few times that I was looking. So again, without further ado, let's get right into it. Whoa. Oh, this must be some backstory. Okay, so kind of like how I was talking about the Boruto reaction. I love how other, uh, well, most mangas, when they do backstory scenes... The whole pages are in black, so you could decipher that. Borto don't do that. Thank you to, you know, Super for doing this. Okay, here we go. So, where are we? What planet is this? Oh, it's a planet where the Saiyans are destroying. You see the monkeys. You know that's them. Uh-oh. Oh, so Granola must be on a planet that the Saiyans destroyed. Go figure. Go figure. So far, this ain't original. Let, let me guess. This dude's a tuffle. Let me guess. <clears throat> let me guess. This guy is a tuffle. He's a Sephorian, whatever. The same shit. You know what I'm talking about? He wakes up from a nightmare. What's wrong, Granola? <clears throat> was, was it that dream again? Yeah. Who's he talking to? Worry not. OG73 eyes in stable condition. Good. Okay, he must be talking to some like kind of computer or something like that. 
Is anyone following us? After the destruction you brought down upon them? No. Stolen. Again. <clears throat> it will be quite a while before we reach the heater's base. I suggest cold I suggest cold sleep. No, I'm wide awake now. Do you still despise Frieza's army? Sure do. Frieza died several years ago, and the remnants of his army are but a shadow of their former glory, yes? That's what they say. Then why obsess? Try to move on already. I guess I should. First off, it was the bar... My, the Barbaros apes. Oh, the it was the Barbaris. Excuse me, I can read. Sorry, it was the Barbaris apes within Frieza's army who slaughtered my fellow Cerulians. Is that the same thing? We'll find out. And even those apes were apparently wiped out by a massive meteor not too long after. Oh, so he don't even know what actually happened. I've lost both my avenues for my revenge, but that doesn't explain why that dream still haunts my sleep. Barbarous apes, you say? Are you referring to the Saiyans? That's right. Okay, here goes Goku. Is Goku trying to catch the oracle fish? Cut it out. Unhand me, barbarian. Come on, stop squirming, or else I'll salt you, grill you, and gobble you up. So they're on Beerus' planet right now. I'd assume training. Uh, do it now, Whis. But of course. So what are they doing to the fish? What happened? What did he do to it? Oh, he injected it with something. He put it to sleep, put it back in the in the fish tank. A healthy dose of vitamins is the best solution for insomnia. That fish gets insomnia? <laughs> really? Okay, so they're injecting with some with some medicine. Okay, that's fine. Indeed, once in a great while. Haha, <laughs> it keeps floating even while asleep. Fun wait a minute. It looked like Goku was doing that. Anyway, fun fact. The Oracle Fish suffering from lack of sleep is a bad omen for the future. Of course. What? Or sometimes it's nothing. Aw, you got my hopes up that some really strong fighter was about to crash the party. Will you ever learn your lesson? Thank you, Vegeta, for saying that. And no, no, he won't. Beerus twitches. Russell, he goes down. Hey, Goku, don't give me that I want to fight someone strong crap. You always wind up in over your head and then somehow screw me over too. Uh, did I? Did something happen? Uh, yes, very much so. Like, come on, bro. Like, what do you mean? You, man, Goku, like, we love you, but like... Why are they? St <sighs> Never mind. Never mind. There's no. There's no point. There's no point. Ah, uh, Oracle's asleep. Should we get back to it, Weiss? Let's. Whoa! <laughs> so he goes right into Ultra Instinct. Okay. And Vegeta goes. Psh. Right. Of course. Right. Wow. He's in mastered form, like straight up. So this is like outside of. I want to say Super Dragon Ball Heroes is like the first time we're seeing him in full gi. Right, like no, no, like nothing battered, nothing ripped, torn. Okay, cool. Ready when you are. Ooh, so he goes from the above approach. Ooh, sh what? What is Goku doing? My man has shadow clones now. This is okay. Now this is okay. This is on some next level after image stuff right here. He sent after image ultra mastered ultra instinct Johns. I'm sure the whole point is for him to actually hit, get a hit on Whis. Yo, Whis went right to the real one. <laughs> your ne your real body never descended. An obvious ploy. Uh, and he gets kicked in the face. Knocks his ass right out of Master Ultra Instinct. So, okay, I want to just point the, uh, throw this in, in here, right here, in, in the middle of this reaction, right? So... I can understand and this is this is the only way that I will be okay with this, right? Is Whis being an angel and whatnot, him being able to handle a mastered ultra instinct anything, right? Is completely okay. I'm okay with that because it is what it is. He's an angel, it's expected. But I just don't want this to be a foreshadow to how easy it could be for someone else 
aka granola, to take on a mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. Because then you have to question, is it truly a master? Is he mastered? Just because he can whip out the white hair, is he really a master? Like, is this not supposed to be the form? Like, that's it. There, there should realistically be nothing after this, guys. I hope you realize that. There should be nothing after Master Ultra Instinct. Because what's after that? Death. You've done it all. You're the strongest. You're the best. Just be a teacher or something, okay? You don't have to die. I'm being exaggerated, but still. Anyway, Weez comes down. Copying me won't get you far. You must develop your own style. Dang, I was sure that would work. All right, and they go back to training. Wham, wham, wham. Here goes Vegeta. Is you is Whis using Ultra Instinct at the moment? Not exactly. Angels are always in the instinct state. Busted. So that well, wait a minute. So that means that oh my god, that's that's trash. Like you, oh that just confirmed it. Whis is not even in the mastered. Ultra Instinct. Okay? He's not in the ultra. He's in the instinct state. And he's taking on the master Ultra Instinct Goku. And Goku still can't touch him. What does that say? <sighs> that means that Whis might actually whip out something that we have not seen before. And that's what I'm sure Goku will then try to attain. Typical Dragon Ball format. All right, here we go. Punching on. Here it is. You may already be aware of this, but the ability to wield Ultra Instinct is not in and of itself your ultimate... <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I love how I call it out as I see it developing. Hey, hey, hey. So here he goes. Whips him with the Bruce Lee whip. Throws him in the water. In fact, it's only the starting point. Toriyama must be watching my videos or something. Being like, oh, nah, this is not the end. Ultra Instinct is not the be-all, end-all. There's more. So what color is it going to be? Is it going to be like pure white? Is it going to be like purple? Is it going to be like... A color we really haven't seen, like purple, that would actually work out. Orange, something, like, what are we going to do? Rainbow, Skittles. Goku comes out the water, charges. We says, I have greater command over Ultra Instinct than Mirus. And in turn, the Grand Priest's Ultra Instinct is even more accurate than my own. Well, okay, well, that I would expect that much. Meaning, I'm at the bottom of the ladder. What I meant, what I mean to say is that you have at least that much room to train and grow. Doesn't that excite you? Yeah. I'm stoked to get even stronger. Ah, fucking I God damn it, Goku. It is the same, it is the same stuff, guys. We're gonna oh we're gonna Okay, you know what? I'm not trying to sound like a, a downer. Cause I, you y'all know me. I love Dragon Ball. I this is one of my favorite series of all time, obviously. But god damn it, man. It's like, come on, what gives? It's all the same. It is formulaic as fuck. You cannot deny that. It is so formulaic. You're not going to try to master it too? It doesn't suit me, says Vegeta. Oh, Beerus respects that. He says, didn't think so. With a grin. See, that? I like that. See, that, this is the best part of the chapter so far. I'll surpass Kakarot another way. Oh, yeah? It might be possible, but that's up to you. Because Ultra Instinct ain't the only technique of the gods. Oh! <laughs> what? Okay, that, that, that's the hypest shit right there. Vegeta is going to get some new shit that Goku is not. Okay? I like that. I like that. I'm sorry I'm trying to... I'm, I, I usually give all my thoughts at the end. But you know what? As they're happening, this is very exciting stuff, okay? Literally, my mans... Look, we're we, we going down... Uh, any any given highway right here, okay? And, and right here, Goku took the exit to the Ultra Instinct exit, okay? But look, there's somehow, you know, sometimes you you're still you can still take the back roads to get to where the, the 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 destination, okay, of being like super strong, right? It doesn't matter what 
way, what path you go. But my man Vegeta is about to get some new shit. I wonder what it's going to be. All right. So, so here goes Beerus. That's just the angels specialty. Or did you really think us gods of destruction would run around using a move where you got to keep your heart all calm and tranquil? Then what do you use? Tell me of this technique you gods of destruction use. All right, Beer says, I'll pass. Training people ain't in my job description. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. That's not going to be it. Anyway, I'm going to go exercise to wake myself up. If you see anything you want, Feel free to steal it. Wait for, wait for me, Lord Beerus. So he's going to follow him. I'm going to go exercise to wake myself up. Okay, so I understand. Okay, so he basically is going to low-key train with Beerus without training him. Because, again, like Beerus just say, he's training people is not his job description. But isn't this the most... Isn't this the most perfect, likely pairing? Just look at how Beerus is and look at how Vegeta is. This is something that I never actually predicted seeing happening at all. And I'm very... This, see, this right here, When it, I will pop off to the new shit that comes out of Dragon Ball, okay? The stuff that I don't see coming, the stuff I don't predict, that's what I like. I don't like the formulaic shit. I don't. Because if it's too predictable... Is it is it as good as it's supposed to be, or as it is deemed? Right, you gotta, you have to, you have to challenge it. You have to ask these questions. And we're only halfway through the chapter, and I love this, the fact that we are being teased at the at the potential, not even just the potential, basically the straight up confirmation that there is something else aside from Ultra Instinct that Vegeta can now do. And who knows? Maybe this could also be. The same stuff that Gohan could, could could achieve. Because remember, he did say that during the anime that he was going to attain his own path or whatever. Boom. That'd be kind of fire. All right, so here we go. New scene. All right, here goes Granola. He's got the G1, or the OG73. I think that was what it's called. He looks like he's back on where he possibly would have came from, maybe. Pocket change. Really? What a cruddy haul. Hey, if I if it ain't my good buddy Granola, how it hanging? And he keeps walking. Whoa! Ain't that the artificial life form thing that Elix been asking for? How the heck did you nab it? I mean, wow, great job. What you say we pretend we snagged this guy together and split the prize? The guy I just handed over didn't make for a bunch of, of a bounty. Come on, please. All right, so these guys are bounty hunters. We've known each other forever. Oh, he, oh, my man said, take one more step. Don't touch Soshiru. Or Elik will be paying me for your head as well. Oh, j j j just joking, pal. Yeesh. All right. He walks back in. Get in there and get paid. Then drinks are on you. Ooh, okay. New characters, of course, naturally. Granola, we can always count on you, huh? All right, brand new characters. Um, I could have, I could definitely pass as this guy if my hair was a little bit longer. Um, yes, I like, I like his look though. He got the dreads. All right, well, it's like cornrows. Excuse me. Uh, well, let's see it. Ooh, is that what I think it is? Confirm it, oil. Okay. Beep beep beep. OG73I. Yep, that's the real deal. Well done. Really great job. My money. Now. Sure thing. Maki. Give over. Give our friend his reward. Yeah. Beep beep. Kachink. Clatter clatter. Here. Dang, he got a whole big old bag of money. What are you using that thing for, Elik? You gonna create a goon squad like Goichi was doing? Ha ha ha, we've got no need for troops. We heaters ain't running an army here. So these are heaters. And if the day ever comes, wait a second, they're heaters? We have, we have, we have, we have Frieza people, Cooler King Cold. Now these are heaters. 
Okay. I like that. I like that. This guy could be the next big bad, honestly. It not it might not be Granola, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see we'll see if this guy is actually a threat. And if the day ever comes when we do need more muscle, we'll we'll hire the best that money can buy. With enough cash to burn, there's nothing you can't have in this universe. Money. Right. I guess that's true. Dominating others with military might is a relic of the past. These days, power comes in the form of money and intel. Intel. Am I wrong? The one with the most intel controls the universe. And intel is exactly what's packed inside this thing. Right. Well, I wouldn't know much about it. About that. I've got my reward, and that's what matters. What's my next job? About that. The state of things in the universe is shifting, so we don't got any assignments at the moment. What? Frieza's been revived. Ah, ah, we're getting somewhere here. Okay, well, they don't realize that he's, he never died. He, yeah, they, yeah, they, they are way behind. They don't know anything that's been happening, okay? What'd you say? He's come back to life? How? No clue. Doesn't matter. I feel like I, when I hear this, when I see this guy, I feel like he should be talking similarly to Cell. I don't know. I just get that vibe from him. Doesn't matter how it happened. It's bad for business. When people are running scared, they ain't fired up to make deals. Right now, I could actually kill him. A chance to avenge my people. Where? Where is he? You have to tell me. Why? Revenge? Don't even try it, Granola. Freeze us back and somehow stronger than ever. So you'd be playing with fire. Probably wouldn't stand a chance. Let me be the judge of that. Tell me where Freeze is. Ooh, he gets he gets he gets uh tipped off at the kneecaps. Ooh. Oh, he gets caught by the neck and then Hurricane Rana off the platform. Damn. Ooh, and they oh gets put in an arm bar. You're such a hothead, Granola. I know all about your little grudge against Frieza's army, but proper revenge is best served cold. It takes time and planning, so chill out. I love the puns. Put this whole thing on the back burner until we're ready to help you out. Frieza's army is a thorn in our side, too. You feel me? Yeah, got it. Great. Let them go, gas. So they got oil, gas... I can't think of a third one. Oh, wait. The third one was Maki. Maki must mean something. It must mean gas in another language or something like that. It must be some kind of fuel. I know Mako energy is a, a form of, like, you know, a sort of form of energy, fuel kind of thing. I don't know. That's Final Fantasy. That's the closest thing I could tie this to. All right. Glad we have an understanding. Go home and take some time to cool that head. Okay. Contact me if there's a job to do. See ya. Care to explain yourself, Granola? It's quite unlike you to allow Elik to have the last word. That piece of garbage, Frieza, will die by my hand. I will have my revenge. That's all well and good, but remain calm. Why not treat yourself with your earnings first? So he flies off. Hearing Frieza's name, sir, sir, excuse me. Hearing Frieza's name seriously lit a fire under Granola. He really got it out for that guy. Hey, Elik, why did you go and mention Frieza? Our friend Granola has gotten crazy strong, and the power has gone to his head. We'd be in hot water if he ever got, sh got stronger than you, Gas. Oh, okay. He could never defeat me. Darn right. You're the pride and joy of our little family. Stronger than Gas, even? Not possible. Yeah, it's unlikely, but hedging risks is the rule of business. So, you see, Frieza's gonna ice, this, ice the guy for us. So that's your angle. No rush, of course. Right now, I'm just fired up to see what we find inside that thing. I'll start running the analysis. Soon, we'll have what we need. The exact location of Zuno, the ultimate intel broker. Hmm, okay. New character, new um new purpose here. Alright. Rest up. It will take two days to reach Planet Serial. 
Yeah, I hear you. Planet cereal. Nice. Nice, Toriyama. And he wakes up. What's all this? What was that? Oh, hand over that bounty, Granola, or you'll be space dust. Oh, it, it's Soshiru. He's gathered his allies for the ambush. What that low life will settle this on that asteroid. All right, so he pulls over. You won't get away that easy. So they go on. They park it. They will come out. Nowhere to run, pal. Give up the cash and nobody has to get hurt. Sure thing. How about I give you half of my earnings and we all walk away? That's mighty cooperative of you. You should have just agreed to that from the start. Come inside and I'll give it to you. Let's go. Where is he? Where'd you go, Granola? Up here in the cockpit. You sure are making us work for it. Now show me the money. Whips the chair around. He's not there, but he leaves his eyepiece behind. Okay. Too bad. That was my voice. Huh? Oh, did they get zapped? Oh, they definitely got zapped. Where? Where is he shooting from? Oh, man. What happened? They all got zapped out. He he can snipe without his goggles? He doesn't require my support to... Oh. He doesn't require my support to snipe the likes of you. Cerulean's right eyes are especially adapted to sniping and Granola's abilities are cut above the rest. Whoa. Okay, so his eye is not like a full eye. It's like, it's like a... Well, it's, it is like a full eye, but it's, it's a different kind of pattern. Interesting. No stun gun for you. His next shot will pierce your heart. Get it? Got it. I give up. I'm sorry. You'll forgive me, yeah? I'll even leave you my pocket change. Ah, and then he puts his thing back on. A profitable encounter. How nice. I suppose so. Your sniping was as impressive as ever. Nah, I missed one of the targets. Did you? In any case, good enough. Not in my book. Elik was right. I'm still not powerful enough to take down Frieza. To avenge the Cerulean's I've lost, I'll have to grow stronger than anyone. Uh-oh, there goes the Oracle Fist shaking. Universe 7, balance shifting. Strongest warrior in the universe will soon rise up. <sighs> you know, hold that thought. So, not gonna lie, this chapter is really good. Okay, I enjoyed this chapter better than Boruto, so I can confirm that for you guys for this month's series of monthly issues that come out. However, I did what I liked the most, though, is the fact that a lot of the formulaic Dragon Ball stuff that we're so used to seeing started off very formulaic, but then it kind of turned for the better, and I like that, right? It, it turned for the difference. I like the difference, the differencing things that can happen, right? Especially with Granola now, he's not a Sephorian, he's not a Tarble, or Tarble, he's not, um, he, you know, he's not the same race as what Baby is from GT. He's a Cerulean. So we learn, so this is a, a completely brand new race that we've never seen before. He's a Cerulean, so from, he's from the planet Serial, okay? Good stuff to Toriyama on that one, right? Pretty soon we're going to see the Cinnamon Toast freaking, the, you know, you know, there's a, there's a group of people with the cinnamon toast, the frosted, the 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 frosted flakes, the freaking this one, that one. But here's the thing: the oracle is teasing, a balance is shifting, and the strongest warrior in the universe in universe seven will soon rise up. So that could mean plenty of things. It could be hinting at granola somehow, be obtaining some kind of power that would supersede Goku's Ultra Instinct that's mastered, that's not necessarily the be-all, end-all that we learned out of this chapter. We also learned that Vegeta is now taking his own path into some kind of superstardom with a brand new power that we have never seen or learned of until now. And I mean, just saying, gotta put that out there because I am the Broly man. Broly is still lingering out there. Just putting that out there. So it could it, it could be anything. And I kind of like that. And so by that decree, I definitely have to admit that this arc just became that much more interesting. And there's a lot of different angles to look at. And the fact that Granola is trying, he doesn't have really, he doesn't really have beef with Saiyans. 
What he does have beef with is Frieza. So, what does that mean? That means that at some point during this arc, I'm sure we will see Frieza. Which is cool, because we haven't seen Frieza since Broly. And Broly didn't even happen in the manga, so if you want to be technical, we haven't even seen him since Terminator Power. So that's pretty dope. So, all in all, I definitely say that this chapter was awesome, like I said. And I hope that you guys feel the same sentiment. If there's anything that I missed, please go ahead and feel free to discuss it with me in the comments. And uh, also, join my Discord so that way you can discuss this with me in further detail there. Follow me on Twitter. Support, me, support your boy in all the ways that you possibly can by looking in the description after you click that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And leave a comment on what your favorite part was, if you're agreeing or disagreeing with anything that I'm saying, and what your predictions are going forward for this new arc. Take care of yourselves, guys. May the power protect you. Keep it locked right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, stay inside. I will see y'all next time.